Now hey guys, welcome back to the channel, another Swiss Scissor 1 video, and welcome back to Flight Simulator Fun with Swiss Scissor 1. Yes, today we've got a very interesting plane in front of us, but what's more interesting is definitely the airline behind that plane, or that's on the plane basically, and that is Air Korea, of course. Yeah, welcome on board the Tupolev Tu-154, the good old plane that has a green cockpit, just like most Russian planes actually for some reason, or at least Soviet planes. It makes this weird noise when I try to fly this plane, I, I, I don't think this is... <laughs> How it's supposed to be. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, today let's talk about the good old airline of Air Corio, which is North Korea's airline. Yes, I've watched a lot of documentaries about North Korea re recently, and that got me the idea to talk about this airline again. Because there is, I guess, an interesting topic that we haven't really touched before, and that is the future of Air Corio. But before we talk about the future, let's talk about the past and the present, <laughs> right? Alright, so as you might know, good old Kirk- Oh, we're crashing our triple F plane right now. But as you might know, Air Corio is actually a little bit of an older airline. <clears throat> Let's just read through Wikipedia right now. Founded 1955, 65 years ago, that's a little bit of time. What you also might know is that this is the worst rated airline, at least by Skytrax, which that's another question whether that's very, really uh, a good rating, you know, a rating that is fair. But you know, it's a one star airline and actually it's the only airline that has only one star. So, you know, according to Skytrax, this is in fact the worst airline ever uh, by, by every standards, you know, passenger service, um, safety probably as well. You know, this seems to be a really, really bad airline. Mm, what else is there to know? Okay, but before we talk any further, let's check out another plane that Ecorio has. For example, the Antonov N148. There it is. There we go. Welcome aboard the Tupolev, 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 Tupolev. Antonov to 148. The actual newest plane <laughs> that Ecorio has in its whole fleet. I mean, this plane also came out like in 2009, so it's not particularly that new, but still the newest that Corio has, and maybe is going to have for a long time, but more on that later. Right now, we are at Palma de Mallorca, which is a European island. Um, the thing is, Corio would never ever be able to fly here, especially in this N48, of course, because uh, this plane obviously doesn't have enough range to fly all the way from North Korea to this place. But no, also, the airline is not allowed to enter EU airspace anyway, I think. So, I guess they're pretty much for when it comes to that. They can only fly in Asia. For example, they fly to China uh, a lot and maybe to Russia as well, but that's really it when it comes to service. They're pretty much banned from all the other places of the of the planet Earth. Now, yes, I've already scratched the topic of fleet. As you can see, the N48 is the newest plane that they have, but they also have some older ones, especially the 154. You know, the plane that we crashed earlier, right? Yeah, this plane came out in 1968. This plane is literally older than the Concorde, but they're still flying it. In fact, they're the last passenger airline to operate this plane. And same with the Tupolev Tu 134, which is, I think, even older? Yeah, that is older. Oh, man. I mean, just look at how old this plane actually looks, right? Damn. Apart from that, they're also flying a lot of Tupolev 204s, uh, which I previously called a 757 copy, because they basically are a 757 copy. But that's another story. <laughs> okay, let's me check out how good these planes actually are. I haven't flown the N148 for super long now, but this is one of those newer Russian planes that mostly have actual English cockpits, right? So no Russian weird letters, right? No, but no, actually, I did not have super bad experiences with the uh, Antonov N48, to be honest. Uh, it seems like a solid plane. It's actually, most Antonov planes are pretty solid. But, you know, they're starting to get old. I mean, you know, try finding a Concorde that still works. A plane more modern than half of the uh, fleet of Air Corio. You know what I mean? And just the fact that the Antonovs are all still operating does have to mean quite a bit with uh, Russia and everything, right? All right, there we go. We have taken off around 148 with the air courier livery now yes actually they have a pretty small fleet here only a fleet of 11 aircraft um so that could be better but you know the n148 is definitely swisher her one approved even though it's i think apart from this airline the plane is quite a bit of a failure but that's another story okay so let me check out that fake 757 that i was talking about earlier the tuple f204 300 also operated by air courier as you can see that here and you know what maybe let's check out pyongyang 
Pyongyang Airport, also called Sunan Airport. I think Pyongyang is what it used to be called. Now it's called Sunan. Obviously, the capital city of North Korea. And also, of course, the main hub of Air Koryo. All right, welcome to Sunan Airport. For some reason, this runway here seems closed, but I know it isn't. <laughs> Actually, in fact, this runway here, I think, is closed. Whatever, it doesn't really mean anything. We should rather check out the Tupolev 204. There it is. Which I think is a little bugged because it doesn't have a... Nose landing gear, uh, no, it's a little broken. <laughs> yeah. Damn, the fuselage is kind of broken in half as well. Jesus Christ. Okay, whatever. This is the Tupolev 204, another quite modern plane that uh, the good old Air Corio also has. But you can definitely tell it's Russian, but it's, you know, it has this weird blue or green color. Now, this plane actually, though, is in Russian. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not able to read anything. CBE to yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. Of course. Let's try flying this plane as well. Why not? All right, there we go. Let's go and take off. Oh, wow, this plane is going crazy. Apparently, this is such a good copy of the 757 that it also is as sporty as the 757 is. You know, I always consider the 757 to be kind of like a sports equivalent to a plane. I don't, I don't know. And, uh, oh, that was almost a wing strike. Let's just strike the airport building of Pyongyang Airport. Here it is. Shh. Just whooshing by. Actually, this is a very modern airport. Uh, not a big one for a capital city. And not a lot of traffic, but, you know, it does have an airport. So that's kind of appreciated, I guess. Yeah. Mm. And that has not gone very well. Now, by the way, I just wanted to mention this as well. The Tupolev 204 is a little old as well. <laughs> it came out in 1989. And, well, not even Russia's own airline, Aeroflot, are operating these anymore. <laughs> Actually, they retired in 2005. So, hmm, yeah, maybe this plane is aging quite a bit as well. So, so that brings us perfectly to the problem of Air Corio, and That is, its planes are getting seriously old. Apparently, the service is not super bad. They haven't really had a crash yet. Indeed, no, they have not had a crash for the last like 40 years almost right which is crazy to think about and we are rolling off the runway yes they are after all a quite a safe airline but i'm not quite sure about you know air Corio being able to maintain to be safe if i'm being honest unless they will upgrade to newer planes you know for example um i don't know the sukhoi super jet would be an option a plane that i also hate but that's at least better than flying a 60 euro tuple f2154 around for the next 30 years right so yes the next mission for Air Corio definitely is to buy some new planes. But the problem is, well, they cannot do that. Obviously, Korea has these sanctions put on them, meaning that they cannot buy products from other countries. But Air Corio right now is actually fighting for new planes, uh, especially the Tupolev 204. Uh, let me just get this plane landed here on the short runway because we've never really tested planes from Russia or, you know, the Soviet Union, former one, on short runways. Let's just do that real quick. All right, we're coming down. All right, fine. And now landing. That's been a hard landing, but let's stop. Come on, you can do it. Missing nose landing gear. Just gonna say this again. All right. There we go. We have stopped our plane just fine. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, so yeah, actually, they have ordered two Tupolev 204s. Um, but it doesn't seem like they're getting any, right? Even though I saw this article on NK News from 2019, there were two Tupolev F2 204s that were painted in somewhat of an Ercorio livery. And oh, this reverse thrust is very strong, apparently. Oh, rest in peace. Well, they, now they need three more. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, indeed, they actually have ordered two Tupolev F204s, uh, but they haven't received them, apparently. I'm guessing especially there's a problem with COVID-19 now as well and well the sanctions of course so as of right now the only option for air Corio is you know to just try to continue to use their planes that they have right now and hope that they don't crash apparently you know that <laughs> if a plane is maintained well that it can basically fly forever but that's only basically of course i mean you know all the sanctions that are put onto the country are really important of course uh but you know safety and air travel is also important so hmm, there's two sides let's actually go ahead and try getting this antonov and 48 landed as well. Let's check out the runway, uh, <laughs> the performance of this plane as well. I, I don't know. Okay, there you go. Coming down very quickly, losing a lot of speed. And now touchdown. Let's go. Oh, oh. Oh, no, that has not gone very well. So, yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Mubarak, uh, Block, Moritz, Deload, um, Toby, Cook, of course, Great Grandpa John, Mark, Leo, uh, Philip, No You, Larry, Finn, M, uh, Thomas, Riley, Preston, Government Pasta, Will, Philip, Iscanvi, Kalamati, Airlines, Opalax, Cherry, and Kelly Chaos. Thank you so much.